Producing electrical energy with the power of water is a wonderful and brilliant invention. The electrical current is often produced by water power stations. In the case of run-of-the-river hydroelectric power plants, the energy of the river itself is used. For this type of power station, a weir can be used to create a kind of small water storage. This is often referred to as a pondage. The bigger the height difference between one side of the weir and the other side, the higher the energy stored. This is also known as gravitational potential energy, GPE. The stored water passes through an underground pipe system. A turbine, usually a Kaplan turbine, is installed in the pipe system. Other turbines, such as Francis turbines, are less common for this type of power plant. The runner of a Kaplan turbine looks like a propeller or the screw of a ship. Adjustable pitch vanes enable it to work efficiently over a range of flow rates. The pitch vanes are driven via an electric motor. At one end of the turbine axle, a generator produces electricity when the runner is turning. Adjusting the runner blades and the pitch vanes is an effective method to increase the efficiency of the turbine when it comes to different water levels. The volute of the turbine increases the velocity of flow and the pitch vanes direct the water at the appropriate angle towards the runner. The runner, and therefore the axle, is rotating, creating electrical energy through the generator. The major components of the power plant are shown here. The powerhouse contains the generator and other machinery. Usually, a transformer is required to obtain a voltage suitable for power transfer over long distances with minimum loss. The Kaplan turbine was an evolution of the Francis turbine. It was invented by the Austrian professor Victor Kaplan in 1913. Kaplan turbines achieve efficiencies of about 95%. Cavitation has been a serious problem faced by engineers designing Kaplan turbines. The problem is still with us today, but it's not a major problem anymore.